Hey there. So in this video, I wanted to cover um, connecting your uh, Unbounce account to an actual domain service. Okay, so you're going to want to set up a custom domain at some point, like when you're sending somebody to a thank you page or submitting a form, it just has to be done. And you know, Unbounce does provide us with uh, with a hosting space that's part of their actual domain, um, but you're not going to want that. You're going to want to actually create this on your own domain. Um, so whether you have an existing domain or if you need to purchase one, you know, you can do it through Bluehost or GoDaddy or Namecheap. There's a lot of options out there. And um, Unbounce has uh, some connectivity that's built in with some of the major hosts. Like if I'm, so I, I host all my domains on pretty much all of them on on Bluehost, and there is a program that will automatically connect up um, Unbounce with Bluehost and create, for example, a subdomain. So. In my opinion, the subdomain is probably the best way to go about it. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways to go about uh, creating a subdomain for your website. So if you're uh, if your if your website is you know www.mycompany.com, you can do subdomains like lp.mycompany.com or or um, lander.mycompany.com. Or here's some examples, right? So uh, subdomain examples for landing page: landing, lp, business, try. In fact, I thought it was kind of neat the way that ChatGPT provided additional information. Um, so if I look at what ChatGPT provided, they actually categorized them. So I said, give me 50 of your best ideas for subdomain names, and here's 50 subdomain names uh, organized by category. So blogs or personal site like blog.mydomain.com, uh, for example. Here's some for shopping or e-commerce. Here's some for company sites. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to go about doing this. And once you choose your subdomain, uh, what you want to do is is go into Unbounce. And by the way, if you haven't signed up for Unbounce yet, I got a great offer. So look in the notes down below uh, because you can get a percentage, a pretty uh, hefty percentage off, you know, 14 day trial and a percentage off either monthly or a yearly program. So be sure to take care of that or, or take advantage of that offer. So once you're in Unbounce, um, so you'll you'll see you know the ability to add a, a domain here on the left hand side. So we have uh, the domain settings where you can just click through. I'm going to remove my face here to give us additional room. So let me turn that off. Um, so so we have we're in this section. You can see that I I set set one up just as a test earlier. I'm probably going to use this, but um, it is working and secure and it takes you know probably uh, 30 minutes or so for that to actually show up that way but let's say that we're starting from scratch okay so what i want to do is i want to go into once i have a domain with one of the services again like bluehost or godaddy and there's a whole bunch of them um you'll want to you'll want to go uh connect a custom domain now there's another option uh, to connect up a wordpress site and that involves uh you know in wordpress actually configuring a plugin and then it makes a connectivity between uh, between Unbounce and the plugin in WordPress. I'm not going to cover that. There are other videos on YouTube that cover that, so be you know be sure to search if that's what you're looking for. We're going to do uh, a custom, we're going to connect up to a custom domain um, and we're going to do it this way. So all right, so we're going to click on uh, connect custom and domain and it asks me what is the domain you would like to use with Unbounce. So let me just jump over to ChatGPT and look at these examples. I'm going to use one as as a um, idea and so let me see let's say that i was doing a store well let me see here what can i uh let's say let me just go with learn okay so i'm going to set up a subdomain called learn so i'm going to go learn dot brand rocket dot net Okay, so I'm going to say connect domain, and at this point, um, Unbounce will prompt you with something like this. So Unbounce uses entry to easily configure your domain. So this is um, the easiest way to do it. Uh, there, you could do it manually, but I found that this is the easiest way. And when I click continue, it, it would then prompt me uh, for access to my Bluehost account. Uh, looks like I've already signed into Bluehost, so it just did it automatically. Nope, nope, it's prompting me. Okay, so let me do that in a second. So I just entered in the password and it is in the process of authenticating. This does take 
anywhere between 10 to 20 seconds. Um, and then I should receive a confirmation that it has definitely been uh, connected. Okay, so now we get a, a message here that uh, learn.brandrocket.net is now configured. And it does say changes typically take less than a few hours to go. It could take up to 48 hours, but I've always seen it quite honestly to take, you know, probably under 30 minutes. I'm gonna say done. Um, now it's gonna go back over to domain. So you can see that it says configuring. And again, if I were to refresh this later on, it would show up, okay? So that's how you do it the automatic way. Now let's say that we wanted to do this the manual way or perhaps um, there is no option to do it automatically between your, your particular provider, uh, your hosting provider and Unbound. So in this particular case, and let me just pick a different one, I'll just say, uh, blog, let's just go with blog this time. So I'm gonna say, okay, connect a custom domain, blog, brandrocket.net. I'm gonna say connect. Now, in, I'm gonna pretend like this doesn't even exist. So there is a uh, an opportunity here to do this manually. Let me go to the next page. I think this might be proving me wrong. Okay, sign up for blue. Da, 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 da. Um, so manual setup instead. Let me see if this takes me to where I need to go. Okay, so you could do it that way. But there was another way. Let me let me find it, and I'm gonna pause the video, and then I will continue uh, through the other method of adding this manually. Okay, so let's say that you did not have the ability to do that uh, automatically through the tools such as what exists between Unbounce and Bluehost, or perhaps for some reason it wasn't working. In that particular case, um, if you were to abort out of it, um, you'll end up with, you know, you'll, you, it, it, um, Blue, Blue, I'm sorry, not Bluehost, Unbounce will, will still have it listed here. And you, what you can do is just click on the three dots to the right. And what you want to do is uh, select CNAME Setup. Uh, you will then receive this information. It says log into your domain provider for brandrocket.net or whatever domain that you're configuring for. Um, and then go to your DNS settings. So you'll want to go and it, pretty much every hosting provider has that, right? So you'll, you'll have somebody that hosts your, hosts your domain um, network settings, your DNS settings. And then what you'll want to, you'll want to do is add a CNAME record uh, for blog and then paste in the following so it points to this particular address. Um, so I'm gonna copy this address, okay? And we're gonna do this um, actually quite easily. Just click on that button and it's copied. And um, what we want to do is is go over to the DNS record uh, for you know my domain in this particular example, and then add the CNAME record. Okay, so it's easy as this. Now we go over, so go into Bluehost or whoever your hosting provider is, um, and you'll want to log in. Once you're signed in. Um, there should be something called domains. Bluehost, it's right on the left-hand side, um, and you want to go into my domains. So whatever it is, you know, every, every hosting provider is going to be different, right? So go into your section where you can see your domains, and then you should have the ability to manage a domain. So in this particular case in Bluehost, um, it's right here on the, on the manage dropdown, and you'll go into DNS, okay? So now when, when you're in the DNS, you'll see a section down here called CNAME, and this is where you add the record, okay? So I'm gonna add the record. Now remember that the host, okay, host record is whatever we, we whatever that subdomain is, okay? So in this particular case, it was blog, and it points to, this is the address that they gave us, okay? And then TTL, we're just gonna go to four hours and we're gonna say save. And it's as easy as that, okay? So at that point, you know, we just have to wait again. So you can see, uh, show all, because there's quite a few of them here. Um, the LP and the learn, these are the subdomains that I set up through the automatic tool. And you can see that they're down there and they have, you know, they're pointing to this address, which is, again, the unbounced pages. Um, and then this is the one that we set up that was uh, manual. 
So the same thing, um, except one of them was done manually, and that's how you would do it through Bluehost in a very similar fashion uh, for any other hosting provider, okay? So that being said, um, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to ask questions in the comments, and I will say this again, you know, if you haven't signed up with Unbounce yet, there's a terrific offer here. Just go to brandrocket.net forward slash Unbounce, get 20% off your first three months or 35% off your full, first full year, you also get a 14 day trial uh, to give it a shot. So again, thank you so much for your time. While you're here, if you found value in this, please like and subscribe because I might be doing a whole bunch of videos and I uh, appreciate the time. We'll talk soon.